All right, so this video is going to pick up where we left off. So we've been working on this house, and so far you should have these walls drawn. So then the next thing is we're going to put the doors in, and then the next video will be the windows, and then from there we'll do the furniture and so on. So this is what we're taking a look at as far as our floor plan for the doors. So we've got a door schedule over here. So mark number one, so we're looking for door one. So here's door one door two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, all the way throughout the house. So in addition to this, I've also given you this PowerPoint. And so we've got this slide. Uh, so you can pull up this slide. It's slide 13 out of 34. So about a third of the way through this PowerPoint, uh, there's just a one page here on doors. So the few things we're going to do today is load a door family, and then we're going to make a copy of that door and then edit its type properties and we're going to place it and then we'll go ahead and place the rest of them as well. So you can flip to this page and take notes on there if you'd like. So let's switch over to Revit. So here we're in Revit. So right now the last thing we had done is we would put our floor plan on a sheet. So the next thing is we need to go back to our floor plan to make changes. So over here in the project browser, find your floor plan section and double click on level one and it will take you back to that view. Now just zoom in, and so here's our house. We have walls, so once we have walls, we can start placing some doors. So come up here to the Architecture tab in Revit, click on Door. And just like what we were talking about with walls, if you click here under Properties, and you find the door that you want, you can just select it, and then you can use it and start placing it. Okay, so let's see for this first door, First door right here, door number one, it's a three foot by six foot eight exterior door. So I've got a three foot by six foot eight exterior door that already came preloaded in here. So I can just go ahead and select that. Like what we were talking about with walls, I always want to check this green tab. So I've got the option to either tag when I place it or tag later. I'm going to go ahead and leave that unselected and I'm going to tag them later on in my project. So then I've got my options bar here. So there's nothing here in my options bar. I take a look down here through my properties. So it's going to put it at the level. So it's going to put the bottom of my door at level one. So that's what I want. Everything else there looks good. So I'm ready to place my door. So now this door is going to go right here. So I'll go ahead and Click in here, just anywhere along that wall to go ahead and place that door. Then hit escape a couple times to get out of that. So my door is in there. Once I select my door, I've got a few options. So if I need to flip the hinge on the door, I can use those arrows to flip back and forth. If I need the door to be on the outside of the house rather than on the inside, I use the other arrows and it just flips back and forth. So I've got my orientation of the door correct. So then the other thing is, I need to edit these dimensions to get that door to where I want it to be. So again, like we talked the other day, go ahead and select the dimension string, click on edit witness lines, and then click a spot to add a dimension line, and then just click a spot out in space. So for this, I want this door to be four feet, nine and a half inches from that wall. So you'd select the door first, and then these dimension text just goes blue. You can click on either of those and just change the text directly. So what I would do is go ahead and place all your doors, and then I'd place all the windows, because as you see here, these windows are also part of these dimension strings. So I'd place all doors, I'd place all windows, and then I'd go through and start working with these dimensions and moving your windows and moving your doors based off this because remember when we talked about dimensioning uh, I suggest to start at one corner and work your way across the sheet rather than starting in the middle just from my experiences that works better so that's what I would do so we got this door in here so let's take a look at another door so door two is the same so door three here is a bifold door so let's go ahead and take a look at door three it's a three foot by six foot eight bifold closet door so go back into Revit, again, Architecture tab, click on Door. 
Now you'll notice this time, the only doors that I have are single flush doors. I don't have any bifold doors loaded in this project. That's where you need to come up here and click on load family. And again, a family in Revit is similar to a block in AutoCAD. So it's just pre-created content. So we'll go ahead and click on load family. It takes me out to my hard drive in the US Imperial folder where this content is saved. I can find doors and click on doors. And then I can look through here and see if I have a bifold door. So I don't have anything there and click in residential and just scan through here and look for a bifold door. I don't see anything there. I can look in commercial. I still don't see any bifold doors and I can look in hardware, but nothing's there. So when that happens, you've got two options. The first option and probably the easiest one is I created a, a custom content folder and it's called SATC miscellaneous. Sorry, it's called miscellaneous SATC. So it's right there. I can go ahead and open it up. And you'll notice in here we've got a couple of bifold options. So then if you've looked in the normal uh, library for Revit, if you've looked in this miscellaneous folder for Revit and you don't find them, your only other option there is to go out to the internet and search for Revit families find the content you want, download it, and then <clears throat> save it on your hard drive and then use it from there. So for this, we just want a two panel door. So I'll click on that, click on open. It brings it in. And then again, we've got some options here that have already been created for us. If we don't have the option we want, we can go ahead and make a copy of it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now just to show you that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and select, uh, let's select this 32 by 84. So a bifold two panel, 32 by 84. We're gonna click on edit type. Once I get into my top properties, I'm gonna click on duplicate and then give this thing a name. So this is actually gonna be a 36 by 80. And then like we talked the other day, I'm just gonna put hyphen SATC at the back of it, just so you know it's one that you created. And then in here, we just need to update our height I'll do six space eight for six feet, eight inches. And then for width, I'll just do three. I'll take a quick scan through here. Everything else there looks good. I'll go ahead and hit okay. And now I've created that door and now I'm ready to use it. So it was going in, let me make sure I get it in the right spot. So number three, it's going right there and it's equally spaced off of each wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and place that door right there. And you can tell by my blue temporary dimensions, it's gonna be right in the middle, right where I want it. So I'm gonna click right there to place it. And then you can go through and go ahead and finish inserting the rest of your doors. And then next we're gonna take a look at windows. So that should be all you need to know to be able to finish up the doors on this project and then get a start on the doors on your project. So good luck, thanks for listening.